Today, crews in Louisiana are working to reach some of the hardest hit damage left by Hurricane Laura starting the cleanup there and one of the strongest storms to ever hit the U.S. This is a look at just some of the damage in Grand Lake, Louisiana. That's just a few miles from where the storm made landfall in Cameron. At least six people in the state are dead. Tony DeCopel has been reporting from us from hard hit Lake Charles since the moment the storm came ashore. He's still there today. Tony, what do things look like where you are? Hey, good morning, guys. Well, unfortunately, down just about every street here in Lake Charles, there is damage, particularly down power lines, and there is a distinct checkerboard effect to the damage of, uh, as well, and you can really take it in if you go above it all. Take a look at this. You'll notice that one structure will be completely gone, and then the next, it will appear, is almost entirely unscathed. And on top of that, there is a strange precision to this storm. Along one of the main roads in town, I noticed a bridal shop with the roof ripped off but all the wedding dresses inside still on the hangers and just not a, a far walk from where I'm standing right this moment. There's an apartment building with the facade ripped off, but inside on the kitchen table, there was a pier, There was what appeared to be salt and pepper shakers, even a box of napkins, if you can believe that. But if you really want to take in the scale and the damage here in southern Louisiana, you're going to need a much larger flying machine. And that's why Omar Villafranca boarded a helicopter to survey the destruction for us in hard-hit Cameron, Louisiana. Hurricane Laura made landfall near here in Cameron, Louisiana, and the town is virtually unrecognizable. If the wind didn't destroy it, it is now covered in water. We're about 200 feet in the air, and everywhere you look, there is damage. It's hard to find a place that has not been affected by Hurricane Laura. You see trees snapped and smashed on top of homes, cars that have just been thrown down the street, and you're also seeing pieces of people's homes and memories spread in neighbor's yard. It may take weeks or months to clean all this up. Harrowing pictures there in Cameron, Louisiana. That was Omar Villafranca reporting for us. And Galen Anthony, I want to mention also that it seems that sometimes hurricanes and politics collide as well. In front of the courthouse here in Lake Charles, there is a Confederate statue which local officials recently voted to keep in its place. That was a controversial choice. Hurricane Laura had other ideas, though, knocked it right off its pedestal. <laughs> Anthony? Very interesting. Tony, thank you very much.